Good morning. <clears throat> it's Wednesday. I missed doing this last week. It was just such a crazy week um, that I just couldn't quite fit it in. Good morning, Rosemary. How are you? Good morning, Ellen. Hi, Sandy. It's nice to see all of you. Hi, Susie. <clears throat> so what's new, guys? It's been a whole two weeks I, since I've been hanging out with you. Good morning, Allie. So I have been so busy with my online course, but super excited. The first lesson's all up and ready to go for tomorrow, and, and I'm just super excited about it. Last week was like crunch time, and I just was exhausted. It's crazy how much work goes into that, but um, I'm excited about it now. Oh, I thought it was you, Morgan. How are you? I love the pictures you just posted recently. Was it your anniversary or something? They were beautiful. I miss seeing you at Geneva Bakery. So I had everyone vote yesterday and hi, Colleen Zulo. How are you? Hi, Mary. So we're going to do acrylics today because I've been playing around with acrylics and I'll show you what I've been doing. I've been working on Christmas ornaments and I'm super excited about them just because I'm having so much fun with them. So this is going to be a little funky because it's, I'm going to have to shoot down onto my tabletop here, but we'll figure this out. It might be hard for me to read and do all of it, but I'm going to, so, and I don't know if I'm going to paint a thing or not. You know, I decided this morning or maybe probably in the middle of the night that I, I want to make, I made those little phone cases, um, in the summertime and I loved them. They were like abstract acrylics and I put them up on society six and mine broke. And so I think I need a full one. So I thought I'll do that. So I don't know if it's going to end up being an, uh, an abstract or if I'm going to make it be like a sunflower or a bird or something. I'm not sure yet. But when I do my acrylics, I just let it happen a little bit more than I do. Like when I'm doing an oil painting, you kind of have to think ahead more. But the fun thing with those acrylics, you don't have to think ahead about anything. If you hate it, you can paint over and start over. So that is the charm of it. Okay, so let me show you what I've been working on. Let me around so here are sorry for all the creakiness these are my ornaments how cute are these so they're all little acrylic paintings and I'm gonna like sign the back and put the year on the back aren't they fun and here's a bird so they're, mo they're birds mostly birds and um, a snowman so they have all that texture and everything going on in there. Like, aren't they fun? I'm just having so much fun doing them. So I've been doing a few at a time. Like I'll probably pick favorites. But like there's little, little snowman. They all look a little different. So it's like in the olden days, you know, they would make those ornaments. Like I have them for my Christmas tree with Santa Claus. And you know, the eyes aren't really quite, quite in the right place. You know, they probably made them in some factory somewhere. And then I grid them off here. This is a Santa one. He looks a little grouchy though, doesn't he? I didn't pull the tape off of this one yet because I feel like it's still a little dark. I might have to play with that one. But I am having a ball doing these. Like it's like one of those kind of things that's so mindless that like when I was stressing about, not stressing, but you know, working hard on my, my uh, course, I would come down here and do this because it was like such an opposite way of existing and thinking. Okay, so how fun. I love the snowman too, Sarah. Thanks. Sarah, are we walking later today? And you can't hear my music, right? I do love that. No, wait, this is going to, I think I'm going to turn this this way. Maybe I should bring this over a little bit. Let's see if this works better. So I always have to be able to see around what you're seeing and be able to read because I love hearing from you guys. Okay, take my hair tie off. I don't need that right now. So I have, so here's all my acrylics. It's a mess, but because I usually sit over, over there in that chair when I do acrylics and I, this is my area for my oil painting, but it's easier for me to navigate having the phone and everything right here. Oh, good. Thank you, Allie. Okay. 
So who's in for, who's in the, my course tomorrow? Oh, I can't wait. I hope you guys love it. And then I think, yeah, then I have to figure out when I'm going to do the Facebook Lives. Then I have this thing too. This is, um, I was just making a mess on this pen. So if, if this gets too wet, I find that do it, demoing and doing um, <coughs> acrylics, it gets so wet. So I have some things on standby that I'll probably just pull that over and start filling it up with stuff just because it's fun. So I get, I got inspired of doing all of this from um, Betty Krause. Do you guys all follow her? The ornament frames. Ellen, I got them. I think I got them on Etsy. I got a weird shadow going here. What is that shadow? Is that this? Yes. Is that better? That's a little brighter. It's my other little arm thing. Yeah, that's much better. All right. Do I need to tape this down? Is it going to drive me crazy? I don't think so. I'm going to put a little piece of tape here just to kind of hold it in place. Yeah, Etsy, right. Yeah, I think last year I got some and I got them on Amazon, but I only had a few and sold them out right away and couldn't get more of them. So I have more this year, not tons of them, but at least a few more. So I'm just scribbling. I'm just going to, so this is how Betty Krause usually starts hers. I love watching her do her abstracts. It's, it's so much fun. I'm not out coffee yet. So I'm trying to think what I'm doing here. I'm opening up my white paint too. I don't want to get it all over myself. I usually do. Somehow I always get white paint on, or white paint, acrylic paint on me even more than I do oils, which is good because it's not as dangerous. Right? So I'm going to do <clears throat> like cooler colors on the bottom and then go to warm. Like I want it, the top to be kind of oranges and yellows, whether it turns into something or it doesn't, but I'm going to do kind of my cooler colors first. Now, here's some other birds I did. These got a little dark, too, but they're fun, aren't they? I love they look like they have snow on them. Isn't he cute? Um, so, what's new, guys? <clears throat> Anything new and fun going on? Have you guys been painting a lot? I haven't been as much as I would like to. Even my weekends have been busy. Like this weekend, we're helping out friends. Their daughter's getting married, and it's already postponed from last year. So it's a whole different wedding than they're going to have, like, a big wedding next year. But we're going to help. So food, and we've been helping them get ready for that. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the hard part is it dries so slowly. Well, that I said that wrong. It doesn't. It dries really fast, but not fast enough for me to put the next color on right away. <coughs> so I just got my calendar for, and that I have got that ready. I started trying to photograph that yesterday. Doing photography is just so challenging for me. My photos always turn out so dark. Oh, it's a bit dark. So, and I think we're going to have a rainy day today, so I might not have time for that. Well, I have a master meeting, mastermind meeting this afternoon, so I'll be, that'll take up a lot of my day besides doing my real work. <clears throat> Is anyone painting along with me? You're waiting for my class. Good, Amy. It's fun just putting down brush strokes. And I, I got some new paints, too, that are really fun. Like this. I love this. Oh, not that one. This one. Well, I do love this one, too. But I love this teal color. You have to really shake it. Sometimes I shake it and get it all over the, all over the place. But it's not a surprise. So I did get one of those Stay Wet palettes, but I have yet to really figure out how to use it because it takes up so much space. So 
So I still use these little bowls that I have. Like they're from, uh, remember these from elementary school? I could just put them on this other thing. Yes, yeah, so I had a crazy weekend too. We, we did a big trip around on Sunday and I had to drop off, pick up paintings at art galleries, drop off paintings at art galleries, um, did a little bit of shopping like at Trader Joe's and Costco. And then um, like it's just that kind of time of year where everything needs to transition. It has been hard for art galleries though. This COVID has been... I've been using wax paper, works well. Oh, that's a great idea, Dee, you are so smart. I think I do have wax paper upstairs too. I, I realized the other day I was doing something and I, I didn't have any aluminum foil, but I had a lot of wax paper. It's probably because I have it for our projects. Dee, I love your doll houses. There's your doll house. Do you just have one doll house or do you have more than one happening? Dee's, Dee has been um, working on a doll house. That's her new her new passion and they're so pretty so if you don't follow D you have to follow and see what she does she usually has she what did you do a hundred days of birds love love your birds I have one of them redoing my bathroom right now I'm gonna get it framed for in there it's gonna look stunning because the bathroom's gonna be all black and white and gray and then I have a pink flamingo from D what it is a flamingo right Dee? I think it is it's a beautiful pink bird well the good thing about working on this is I can stop and have coffee more often <laughs> I like that shape well it's still a little wet maybe I'll put some paint down on this and let that dry for a minute because I'm gonna it'll start getting muddy Mud is never good. Is that too disjointed if I work on two different things at one time? You guys are artists. You probably do the same thing. My brain very rarely is doing one thing at a time. I always think that I will get to the point where I'll be able to just focus on one thing at a time and not be doing 12 things at once, but I don't even know if it's possible. Gosh, didn't I get any other colors out yet? So what's everybody having today? Coffee or tea? All right. Do some of this. Add some green in there. I was like going to make this a landscape. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Sometimes in the middle of the night, I'll think, oh, I have that piece of board down there. I'm going to um, put hot pink underneath and then paint a landscape over top. And sometimes that may or may not even be happen. Like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not staying in the frame very well. All right. I'm going to put that to the side and see if we can go back to this one. 
hazelnut coffee. That sounds yummy. <clears throat> All right. All right. I'm having another sip of my coffee. So when I'm doing these acrylics, I'm having a lot of fun with the transparent, just like I do with oil paints. I have transparent and opaque colors. And so I'm going to use, I think, this one, a little bit of this. Transparent yellow, iron oxide. I've really been appreciating, like, for, for the longest time, I disliked brown and I disliked orange. And now I like brown and orange. How does that happen? Is it just trends? You just get used to seeing them again? And what did I have against them before? I have no idea. But now I like them again. The Brady Bunch house could be back in style. Why hot pink covered it? You just, <laughs> you know, why hot pink? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I don't know. In the middle of the night, I wanted to cover it with hot pink. Sometimes I want to cover a whole big canvas with hot pink. <laughs> yeah, it's not why. It's why not. I love when that news comes and, you know, you just kind of follow it, even though there's, like, no reason for it. You know, like this mess that I was making over here. Like, that'll turn into something. It might be a while. Who knows what? But I'll just dive back in and play around and after a while it turns into something. I certainly have no idea why that happens. <clears throat> it's just perseverance. Maybe if you just do it long enough eventually something will happen. I do think that a lot of times. <clears throat> to keep, But oil paints it's harder to, to go with that system of working into it more and more and thinking in the end it's going to turn into something because you could make a bigger and bigger mess. But with acrylic paints, you can just completely start over if you want. I have my big one behind me that I need to work on, and I'm really working on it in this same system. When I delivered one of my big paintings, my, my friend who's having the wedding, she bought my big ranunculus that I love. It's one of my all-time favorites. So I'll have to share in my story what it looks like in her living room. It looks so gorgeous. She has such a beautiful space. and. It looks like it was painted for that spot. So cool when that happens. <clears throat> Do you like watching this or is this boring? Would you rather me be doing an oil painting? love dotting with these Posca pens. They're so fun. So what's new, guys? Um, where's everybody from? I wish I could do online classes. I think that's one of the things I miss the most right now. Maybe you're being pulled by the warmth of brown and orange. Maybe that's what it is, Ellen. And maybe the season, too, right? You think of hot pink a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, cloud underpainting for hot pink, right? I love pink clouds. Oh, paper. This is, um, I know that answer. This is. I think it's Arches oil paper. It seems like a crazy thing to be using for acrylics, but I think that's what it is. Sometimes I use that um, Bristol board, but this has more text. This has texture, so this has to be the oil paper. See, it's like it looks like watercolor paper. I want to have this other fun thing to do too. I didn't get to it yet, but I'm doing like a little. This company sent me these watercolors to try. Prestify. Have you heard of these? It's this little portable watercolor thing. So I have to um, do a little painting with them and promote it because I got this to play with. So I'll show it to you. 
now just because it made me think about it and my painting can dry a little bit. How's it open here? I had this open before. Let's see if I can get it this end. Gosh, I can't get here and this must be. I don't want to mess it up. Oh, it's taped here. Let me see if I can. Oops. Oh, well, maybe I'm not going to show it to you. Wait a minute here. I'm going to do it in my lab. Let's see. Okay. So it comes with like this little tube that you put the water in. It's like the paintbrush end. Right? Isn't that fun? So you could just take it wherever you go. And then all the watercolors. Isn't that fun? So I'm excited to play with that. What a fun toy. And it is nice to have things that you can take away on trips and stuff. Not that we all go on very many trips right now, but. <clears throat> Oops. Oops. <clears throat> the freedom of my painting. Oh, good. Thank you, Rosemary. That makes me feel better. When I, sometimes when I'm doing stuff like this, I'll be thinking, are they bored? Inspiring to me to go. Oh, yes. I mean, it is. Ellen, it's good to do both. And I. Oh, hi, Sheila. Hi, Kathy. Um, the name of the watercolors. Oh, right here. It's called Prestify. Nomad Portable Watercolors. Um, it's fun to do both. I like to dance back and forth between being kind of serious about my painting and, you know, doing it. And then when the mood strikes and I don't want to be serious and I want to be super loose and with not a care in the world. Oops, I always get paint in my tubs. Really, really bad at keeping my paint clean. I can pull this up a little bit so you can see as I'm mixing and stuff. I have to figure all this out before I do my Facebook Lives for my course. I already have some fun ideas of things we're gonna do. I did bring down, I always forget the spraying. People say they spray their paints, you know, to keep them wet. And I like to let them run a little bit too. I don't know if this will run. Of course, when I do that, it gets way too wet. No, I don't think it's gonna run. <clears throat> the breeze here to dry a little bit. That was silly to put all that water on there. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Maybe I'll have to go with pencil. Pretty fun, but it's pretty wet. See how wet that is? Well, maybe I'll try it. <coughs> well, that's kind of fun. Look how cool that looks. Well, that was a good solution, right? I wanted to put Indian yellow in there too. I love when I add Indian yellow to anything, how it changes its color. It's it kind of magical. Like look how much that changes in there. You see that makes it cool. Oops. 
not me. That original black I put on there is still pretty wet. I think that <clears throat> carbon black takes longer to dry than the other colors. See, that's mixed, but I like it mixing. I think the best part of doing this is knowing, like, when you do these layers, like, no one may ever see this. Well, you guys did, but... <clears throat> And each stage, I like it. All right. Fallish, yes. That's what I want it to be, fallish. The watercolor paint set will be great. Yes, it will be, Sheila. If I ever get to go outside and paint plein air, it would be perfect for that. Oh, I just heard Isabel leave for school. But like in these little these little ones that I'm doing, like I love all that whimsy of whatever's happening in the background and the textures and like that's um, these paints are so fun. I feel drawn to them even though I'm not sure totally what their purpose is, but they're like this pearl color. I think it's it's like pearlish, like so fun. I need a little bit of that in here, don't you think so? Let's make little circles. So pick up what's underneath. Does this make you want to go and do this today? I could do this all day. I need to work on my, the one, the big one that's behind me here. Hopefully this weekend. And it's my birthday weekend. And we're helping with that wedding, so it's going to be busy. I'm not getting older, though. I'm going to stay the same age as last year. It's kind of fun, isn't it? The blue bird, or the bird's acrylic, yes. Yep, all the ones that I've, oh, I've been showing you are all acrylics. Um, oh, thanks, Anita. Birthday season, yeah, all the October birthdays, all the babies from New Year's, I guess, right? Yeah, tomorrow is my niece's birthday, and then my sister's birthday, and I'm looking to see how wet it is. That'd be a fun phone case just like that, wouldn't it? I love the pearlescent, like when it picked up that yellow underneath that um, Indian yellow. It's super fun. So now what? Now I'm going to let it dry so I don't mess it up. So we're going to get this weird thing out again and just throw some paint at it. How about that? Thank you, Amy. We are ageless, absolutely. Better with age, but I don't always like the, the numbers flying by. The older you get, the quicker time goes, doesn't it? So fast. I like this shape. I've been liking that today. Is it like a lotus? Is that a lotus? And do some of the <clears throat> oh let's play with these the stipulos. I don't think I did that in that other thing yet. I might have. Try on the sides. When I do these <clears throat> fun ones, I love for the sides to be just as whimsical as the top. Sometimes more so. <laughs> Kids are getting older than you. It's crazy when that How does that happen? Do you use a cutting board to get those? Yes, I do, Rosemary. 
I, um, oh, these pencil, this is a Stabilo. These are great. Like, like if you have, like my neighbor Emerson comes to visit and I let her play with these because I think they really are for kids, but they have nice, nice amount of color. Like they're, they make, I like the mark they make. So it's more fun to color with, I think, than crayons, especially when you have to color with the kids, which I've always loved doing. <coughs> oh, what did you ask me? Um, Oh, cutting board, yes, because I'm a graphic designer by trade, so I spent many, many years sitting at a, a drawing table, so I have it at my office, so I go to my office and trim things out. That's where I grid off, you know, I always grid my, like, here's one of my papers. I have the, whoops, I'm making a mess here. I have all the squares gridded off, and then I just put a layer of gesso on there, but I draw them off, and then I'll tape them. But yeah, it's that graphic designer in me. I'm very comfortable at the drawing table. Like, I don't know how people live without them. Exacto blades and drawing paper, drawing tables. And Bestine to clean things up. <clears throat> Although I don't use rubber cement anymore. I was just somewhere where they, oh, oh, I was, when we were cleaning out my cousin's house, there was a can of, of um, rubber cement there. And I thought, boy, I haven't seen a can of that in a long, long time. But you wouldn't need to do that. Like there's, you don't need to do it that way. I, I, I like even the looseness of, of not trimming them out like that. It's just, you know, it's a habit <clears throat> to do it that way. Like look how, look how that color changed putting that, that um, Indian yellow on top of there. The sides are more like there's like a gesso coating on the top. This is just a, an inexpensive board. I don't even know where I got it. I might have gotten it as like a, sometimes art companies will send me stuff to play with, which is like so much fun. Um, I love just getting them out. And, but then when I want another one, if it's not marked, I can't remember what it was. Still could be a landscape, you just never know. <laughs> it's fun, right? All right, oh, I think we're okay to go back in. What time is it? 8.33. Let's see if I can make this look like anything um, before time runs out. So now what do I feel like doing? That's like a fun thing about this is, is like stopping to think, what do I feel like doing? Oh, look, I got this color. Is this not the coolest? Look at that light phthalo green. It's like this color that I love of my, right? So I think I'm going to have to play with this a little bit. It's like so pretty. Sometimes I mix colors into it and, right? that's still kind of a cool color and then I could um, my acrylic paint brushes are pretty pretty sorry just do big polka dots I love polka dots black and white polka dots are my favorite I did think about painting great big black polka dots in, in the bathroom that we're redoing, but I didn't mention that to my husband. I don't think he'd like that idea very much, but doesn't it sound like fun? Just to fill a whole wall with big, random, oddly shaped black polka dots. I mean, I don't know why all bathrooms don't have that. Oh, that's fun color on there. How do you know when it's finished? <laughs> There's a good question. Peacock feathers <clears throat> for what my little my little ornaments a peacock peacock feather oh that's what that shape is like yes um 
Ellen, I think it's like when I do my other stuff, all of a sudden I feel content with it. I just am finished thinking about it, and that means that I'm finished with it, which just sounds a little crazy, doesn't it? I, th I think it's practice of letting that happen, like this one behind me. Let me see. Let me show it to you. I'll just turn this around. Like, that's not finished yet. No, wait, let me turn it around again. But I love lots of details in there, but somehow, I don't know. It's just not finished yet. But I do. It's so much fun. So it's like that. Like, if you look through the depth of that, there's so much going on underneath there. It's really fun. And then here's love the textures. Maybe I need purple. Purple keeps calling to me. <clears throat> All right. Is that better? You can see my lap. My crazy yoga pants. <clears throat> oh, I think this is transparent, this purple. Yeah, I wish this was so you could see more inner guidance system. Yeah, I do. I have a loud one, Ellen. Really loud one. That's a transparent, too. I like the softness. It gets kind of, um, I don't know what kind of purple that would be that's kind of soft. I can't think of the word for it. What is a soft purple like that? I love that color. Maybe I need a little more. The colors are so fun. Maybe I need a little brown in there before I start adding like oranges and well if I don't finish this today I could always finish it next week, right? What time is it? 37. <clears throat> yeah, I like that color added in. That's fun. <clears throat> Make the world more beautiful. That is my favorite thing to do. Let's pick some of that up. This is still really wet. Let me smear that so it's not in my way. I think I need to add some this is not quite the phone case I envisioned, not yet, but it could still happen. Because my, I don't have one. I'm not loving my phone case. I'll do this. I mean, it's cute, but I'd rather have art. I think it's um, from Target. I'm going to do this a little bit to see if I can get it to dry enough to, <clears throat> I don't know. I do like these colors. And then I get attached. Like, you know, I, my idea is to go back in here and make it very orange and bright. But I'm loving it. I like these colors. Oh, I know what I could do. I could just do this. I need to have my hair dryer with me to do this, I think, when you guys are watching. Maybe I just need a little bit of... <clears throat> I'm looking for my favorite color of my... These Neo Color 2s. I love this color. I love that it adds that texture. <clears throat> I 
know some of you have been to my office where I go to my drawing board. I don't know. You probably saw it, right? <clears throat> my drawing table. Yeah, it's crazy. The holidays are going to be here in no time. <coughs> Got to work on stuff for that. Yeah, my hair. Yes, that's a good idea. I need to. <clears throat> the purple ranunculus. Oh, fun, Anita. And Anita has pillows. They look so cool. I didn't get to share that photo yet. of All the things people got from that Society 6. I don't know. What do we think? Should we add orange in there or hot pink? Maybe a little bit of because hot pink is my favorite. This fluorescent magenta. Oh my gosh. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite. I might regret it, but I doubt it. can be precious and worry that you're going to lose anything because it really doesn't matter. The only thing is I won't finish this probably in time, but that's all right. You will forgive me, right? Yeah, I don't know. Do you like the pink? Or should I do... Yes, I have this new color too. Uh, see, I would never normally have loved this color, but it's such a nice, neutral, kind of quiet yellowish color. Forty-two. I need a little black and whiteness. What do you think? Do I need black? Can't we? Oh, the calendars. Actually, Rosemary, they're already up on my website. I just, I'm still taking photos, but, but, um, you know, you guys are my inner circle. I put them up last night because I, I'll start marketing, marketing them soon, but. I think, well, the sun is out. I could photograph a little bit, but I have a lot to do for work today. Now, isn't that fun? Just adding those colors made it have a lot. I like the quietness that it had before. It's a little wet. I like the texture that paper towel leaves, too. Good way to get it to dry faster, right? <clears throat> All right, I don't know if I need this one. Does it this way? <clears throat> now, what do we need to add? Lighter colors, darker colors. Um, I like the pink. Maybe more of this purple. And then you'll have to help me decide if it's finished in the end or not. If we'll work on it next week or if I should just do it on my own then <clears throat> if you're bored oh I like those colors in there look how pretty those colors are in there that's fun Yeah, that purple and this this yellow really pretty together like goldenrod color is that what they used to call like appliances like when we were cleaning out my cousin's house we had, there was an old coffee pot that was like this gold color I think they called it goldenrod <coughs> <coughs>
little bits of you want to have big and small shapes and areas oh I forgot I was almost going to make this into a um, <laughs> sunflower it would be pretty on top but I kind of like it the way it is if it's going to be my new phone case <coughs> What else do you think it needs? Harvest gold. Oh, yes. Harvest gold. Maybe I'll like, do I have an orange? I have this color. I got this color and I kind of hate it. <clears throat> it's called Venetian red. I don't know. Should I try a little bit of that in there? Or is that too rusty looking? What do you think? Um... And then I also have ruby. No. Um, maybe Venetian. Let's do a few dots of it. Why not, right? The heck with a limited palette, right? I'm not very good at that limited palette thing. Oh, should I put gold? Oh, that's a good idea. Yes, I'll do my gold. Okay. Get some of that. Gold's a great idea. I always love adding my favorite gold. <clears throat> Do you think I know where that is? I just used it yesterday. Um, and I'm hooked to my phone with my headphones, so I can't go far. Oh, here it is. I love this. It's my favorite. Matisse Structure Metallic Gold. <clears throat> I've decorated with gold. Judy, hi, Judy. Oh, gold and orange and brown. I love that. Oh, terracotta. Judy, how are you? I didn't know you were on here. Yeah, I love any kind of bling metallic. It's always fun to add. Now, are these, maybe these little circles in the middle are too stagnant or something. Are they lackluster or something? Is it too consistently, too many smalls? Do I need some bigs? Do I need some transparents? Maybe I need black dots. Might need black dots. I always need black dots. <clears throat> I think most things I have have black dots. I have white though too. White would be fun. No, oh, I even have a brown pen. I don't even know if I ever opened that. Now I don't know where my black. Oh, here's my black. Yeah. It does look like fall colors though, doesn't it? It's nice to listen to it. All right, 49, I still have a little time. Is it too dark? It is, it has like, it feels like that avocado. So I still need a little orange. How am I gonna make orange? Mm. Oh, I have this kind of fun color. <clears throat> I might be able to add, no, I have a different one, not that one. Shoot, I have an orange. Oh my 
gosh, what did I do with it? Oh, here. Oh, this is nice. Look, this color. It's poison. So I can't touch that. But <clears throat> Allie, I do too. It is fun. Happy colors. So maybe I'll do a little orange and not touch it. Oops, sorry. I might put some um, Indian yellow in there. <clears throat> I think I need to go shopping for art supplies soon. Oops, I can't get in past. I'm sorry, I'm bumping, bumping in because I'm caught. Is that too bright? No, it's a little transparent because it has the Indian yellow in it. Dogs are still smearing there a little bit. I struggle with acrylics. I think they're light enough when I paint them after they dry, they're too dark. Yeah, they do dry very dark. I have trouble with that too. They're not like true to their what you're putting down. I agree, Ellen. All right, now I'm fearlessly diving in a little bit. <clears throat> and sometimes I feel like that, like... Do you ever feel like, I feel like I get a little conservative, like I get a little cautious because I like where it's going and I don't want to mess it up. But with this kind of a thing, you can't be precious like that because messing it up is where it's kind of, where, it's where all the funs happens. <laughs> I'm not even making correct sentences. All right. I think I made it over my fearful cliff of being too precious, right? Yeah. And it already has tons more energy. That's exactly what I needed to do. <clears throat> yeah, Judy, I totally agree. <coughs> Is it really poison? It probably, yes, it probably has some poisonous chemical in it. Of course, I didn't know it said that when I bought it, but I just have to be careful and make sure my little friend Emerson doesn't get her hands on it. Yeah, it is a pretty color, isn't it? Now it's feeling a little more like... Um, I need to get white. Or not pink. I don't want pink. I need a white. It was, it was getting flat looking, like it needed to have more energy or something. It's getting, it's getting there now. So like I love all those, oops, everything's rolling around. Let me just hold it. I like that, it's so fun. A little bit more of my orange. It's a little thick. A little more gold. I think it needs to go lighter. Maybe it should go a little lighter. <clears throat> what am I thinking? My white. I really didn't use much white at all today. So I'm gonna... Yeah, I need to pull back so you can see the mixing part, right? I keep forgetting what you're watching.
I don't know. Is it crazy? Pencil. I think I need to throw some pencil in there. That does loosen things up when you throw the pencil in. I always like to make like, I always wanted my, these little ones that I do to look like signature. I love like pretending like I'm signing. Like I love what that looks like. Let's see what that did. Some nice light coming in my window. Can you see the shadow it's casting looks so pretty. Love light. Love, love, love light. Okay. A little more avocado-ish looking. And then... it certainly would be a nice fall autumn phone case. I should just make one each season for myself. I love the overall texture of it. Um, now what do we need? I only have a couple minutes. So what's the vote? Is it finished or you think I need to work on it? Should I work on it on my own and show it to you later? Because I don't know if it's enough to finish next week. Plus, I don't know if I can keep my fingers off of it for a whole week. What do you think? Or because it's the end, should I just call it finished? No, I think I need to play with it some more. So that's as far as I got. You wouldn't think acrylics, they, they do take a long time to like work through them. Oh, what do I have? <laughs> so thanks for coming, guys. Black would be good. Yeah, because I love when there's spots of something that are black and white and polka dots. You can never have too many of those. Thanks, Amy. <clears throat> so thanks for coming, guys, and hanging out with me. I'll do it again next week. Um, and if you're in my course, I'll see you in there. All right. So thanks for coming. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.